Hi everyone, welcome to Backyard Chef. I'm Rick. Today we are doing an air fryer day. Now air fryers, you know, they're normally quite small. You know, they fit on the kitchen side, they're nice compact units. And most people use them for reheating frozen chips and things like that and don't really cook with them. If you cook with an air fryer, it saves on energy bills, it saves on everything, you know, you don't have to use much oil and you get a really healthy meal out of an air fryer. But like I say, they're very small. Well, I have managed to get my hands on a 24 litre air fryer from Hi Sapienta. It's got a lot of reviews online but are they any good? I have no idea until I get this air fryer out of the box and we're going to give it a cooking. So let's get this out of the box and see what it's like. The packaging is absolutely superb. It's sturdy, it's strong, it's well packaged. Like it. All held in place. Fantastic. Get that off. Take the off the LC display at the front. Take the tape off. We can get inside and get the stuff out. It's well made. Oh, the door. The door's like a commercial oven. It's superb. There's a light in here. There's a fan. There's an upper. And lower heating element. Oh, superb. A crumb tray. I like it. I like it. There's all sorts of bits and pieces, you know. We've got a tray. We've got a rack. We've got a rotisserie. Oh, yes. Yes, please. That I'll definitely be trying out. So we've got a rotisserie there. That is simple. Got a tray for chips or potatoes. You know, the door is super strong. This thing looks the part. It looks like it belongs in a commercial kitchen. It's superb. On off button. That brings up all the display on there, all the presets. That is fantastic. We got a clock. That means we can set the time. Oh, easy. The knob is so smooth, you know, it's dead easy to operate. Temperature. Alter the temperature. Oh, yes, come on, this is easy. We've got a light. Oh, it looks like a real commercial piece of kit, this, you know. we got a fan, low and high. Oh, but that, the fan low and high only works for baking and defrosting setting. So you can alter it between low and high. But only for the baking and defrosting. And the baking. 62. 140. Hmm. Not sure about that one. You know, an average baking when you bake anything in an oven. is usually about... Somewhere around 170, 180, you know, and this is at 140. So we're going to have to give that a go, see what it's like. Set the time. Set the time for whatever you want for the baking look. Dead easy to operate. And then you would just... You've got your time, your temperature, just select and off it goes. It's all ready and then you can alter the fan, low and high. But this is only for the baking, don't forget. And then you can pause it. So it's on pause and then you hold it down for a couple of seconds to turn it off. Dead easy to operate. Smart oven. Okay, now everybody knows me and we know we're going to give this a right cooking. You know, do we think this thing can cook? Do we think it can make toast? Do we think it can make bacon? Do we think it can do all those things? Yes, it can. That's the bog standard. Everybody puts a slice of toast in and, and you know, and it cooks both sides. So what? 
We're not interested in cooking a slice of toast that can go in a toaster. We're looking about cooking a meal which can provide for a family. A piece of toast you can do on a, even over the flame on a, on a cooker, it doesn't matter. We are going to make toad in the hole. I am a Yorkshireman, I love Yorkshire pudding. Can this handle Yorkshire pudding? Let's see. Okay, we've got to make a batter. Now, I've got four eggs here, look. I'm going to bung my eggs in there. I'm going to go in with a little bit of salt. I'm going in with some milk. Now, you don't have to make anything this way. This is just a, a little splash of water to thin out that milk. This is just a quick way of making these Yorkshire puddings. So just give that a mix in there. I'm going in there with a little bit of pepper. I like pepper in my, this is freshly ground black pepper actually, but I like pepper in my Yorkshire puds. Right, and we've got some flour, bog standard, all purpose flour, in there, mix in. There is absolutely nothing hard about making a Yorkshire pudding. The Yorkshire pudding batter is easy to make, but can that thing cope? We will see. So there's our batter mix, just leave it alone. And we're going to use some pork sausages today, and we're going to bung them in a tin. Now, this thing comes with trays and baskets and everything like I've already explained on the video. We're not using them. What we are going to use, we are going to use that rack in there and put our pan on there. So just let that have about 10 minutes and then we'll give it a quick stir, chuck it in a jug so it's easy to pour when we take out our tray from the oven. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. I'm not waiting any longer. I want to give this a go. I'm quite excited to see if it works. We need to go in this tray with a little bit of oil. That's going to lubricate our sausages in there. I'm not even preheating this oven. I want to try from scratch. So what we're going to do, we're going to put our sausages in this tray. To me, there is no point heating up that oven heating up the tray, putting the sausages in. Might as well put the sausages in the tray, put it in there, heat it up all together. Five minutes time, we'll turn the sausages over. Okay, so it's nice and straightforward. On, put it on. Okay, now I'm gonna go for the toast setting at the top of here, because when I read the booklet, it, and when we played with it, as you saw, you could see that you could alter it all around. So on that toast setting, I will set it for 230 degrees for five minutes. And all I'm going to do is put those sausages in there, like that. And we'll press start. And we will see what happens. Now this is the first time using this oven. I've never used it before. So let's just see if it can do the job that I need. So whilst that's in there then, let's just give our batter a quick whiz. And what we're going to do, we're going to tip that batter in a jug. Now that is just to help pour it in that tin actually, and nothing else. Well, I'll put the light on, we can see what's going on. So as you can see up here, it says end hot. So it's done the five minutes of actually heating up that sausages in, the, um, in that tin. Now it does come with some little plastic mitten things, but you know, you get used to what you use. So let's have those out of there. Turn them over nice and gently. Oh, they're getting a little bit of color on the bottom there, look. So let's tip our batter in. So down on there, in with our tray of sausages, 230 degrees, that's as hot as it'll go. And we wanna go for about 12 minutes. So set the time. Roughly about 12 minutes. 
press start. Now I'm thinking that that is going to be a pretty good chud in the hole. Okay, so let's get that out of there. Oh, look at that. Oh, so impressed. <laughs> so, so impressed. That is fantastic. Oh, that's a nice light batter. That's okay. What's the sausages like? Oh, look. Sausage is perfectly cooked all the way through. Oh, ho, ho. Mm. 